What American thing have you always wanted to try? This I asked my social community and you have responded and it's very interesting what you've come up with. So today I'm going to respond and share what people wanted to experience in America. If you don't know me, I'm Kiwi Americans. I have moved my family of six from the US to New Zealand and have been here for eight years. So I have a very large community and you might be surprised that most of them are from New Zealand is my largest community and Australia. So I've asked them what it is that they've always wanted to try in America and give you some insights on what things people find interesting or peculiar or different. And you're gonna love this, so let's dive in. Okay, first up, American McDonald's. Yes, you're gonna to wanna to try American McDonald's. It will be very similar. I don't notice a huge difference in taste, except we're not gonna have a kiwi burger. Our shakes are gonna be delicious. You're gonna have a much broader variety of blizzards out there than you have here, and it's gonna be so good. And there's gonna be different things on the menu. I can't think of them offhand, but the core of the McDonald's menu is, oh, actually the McDonald's breakfast. So much better in the States. You don't have biscuits. How do you not have Okay, moving on. Someone says, everything, ma'am. Peach cobbler, buffalo wings, natural hot chicken, pastrami sandwiches. So you're getting a trend. Everybody is interested in trying the food, as you should. Peach cobbler, you can make that here. The peaches in New Zealand, mm, so good. The buffalo wings, you can get the buffalo wing sauce. I've seen it at a couple of New Worlds, and ooh, that's so good. So you could make those. Pastrami, do we not have pastrami in New Zealand? I don't think I've like ever noticed that and ever really like thought about it. Like, do we not have pastrami sandwiches in New Zealand? A crawfish boil, yes, you should definitely try that. I'm not from the South, so I can't speak to that too much, but you should definitely try the crawfish boil. Okay, key lime pie. If you go to Florida Keys, you need to try the key lime pie. Really just try the key lime pie anywhere because it's so good in the US and it's a very common pie. And just so you know, pies are sweet, not savory. So if you go wanting a pie and you want a meat pie, you're not gonna find it. It's gonna be up in like the boondocks. Um, Michigan has some of the, the pasties. It, you're not gonna find it. You're not gonna find meat pies. Pies are sweet, not savory. Okay. American barbecues, let's talk about this. Are they different? Yes, they are different. And they just have like, I think more varieties of meat maybe. The sausages are different, the American hot dogs are different. And tailgating, they don't really have tailgating here. So tailgating, if you don't know, is when you kind of eat and drink out of the food or trunk of your car <laughs> um, before a game. So everybody parks in the parking lot of the event and you eat and you grill out and you throw a ball around, whatever you're doing before the game. And so you're basically at the game like three hours before it starts and that's kind of the best part. Like when I go to baseball games, I don't actually go in. I'm just there for the tailgating. It's definitely a cultural experience if you haven't had it. Another person put Matthew McConaughey. What American thing did you want to try Matthew McConaughey? <laughs> that's hilarious. That got the most likes on my Instagram and I am with you on that. A foodie tour, Chicago style pizza, New York bagels, seafood in Louisiana, real Tex-Mex, craft beer, and West Coast wine. Now let's talk about this. I have lots of thoughts on this one. Chicago style pizza, mm, mm, the best. And Luminati's being my favorite of the three main ones. And you can go actually on my recipe book, I'll link it up here and you can get that. And I have figured out how to make real Chicago style pizza here in New Zealand. So you're gonna wanna check that. New York style pizza, totally different style, equally as delicious, the bagel. I've never really bought a bagel here because, I mean, when I have, it's been horrible. So I haven't bought it since is what I should say. And so I haven't found good bagels here, but that doesn't mean that there isn't because I just haven't really tried it here in New Zealand. Real Tex-Mex, you're gonna wanna try it. It will not disappoint. And let me just say a little something about West Coast wine. It will not compare to New Zealand. You're good with New Zealand wine here. So good, New Zealand, Australia. Europe, I would say all are better than the West Coast. Tour 52 states. Yes, you should definitely go through and tour. We did a 35 day tour once when we did all around kind of like the West Coast and up and so many national parks. And I'm gonna put a plug for Glacier National Park. It's my favorite. Now we went to five of the main ones like Yosemite, the ones in Utah. I'm not gonna remember them all, but like Glacier National Park is underrated and is stunning. What does this say? The Second Amendment followed by claiming the Fifth Amendment. <laughs> so if you don't know, the Second Amendment is the right to bear arms and the Fifth Amendment is the right to a fair trial. <laughs> so yeah, that is one thing you will see in the States. You're gonna see guns. People carrying them, the average Joe, they open carry, conceal carry, depending on the state. It's a crazy place, let me tell you. We have IHOP 
and Twinkies. Okay, let's talk about this. If you don't know IHOP, International House of Pancakes. It is a very cheap breakfast place. You, I think it's like $3.99, you get the Grand Slam, and it's like eggs, bacon, sausage, uh, like a muffin or toast, like 16 different things. And then unlimited coffee for like $3.99, $6.99. I don't know what the price is, but it's <laughs> so cheap, but it is low quality food. But it is an experience, I do like it. And what's really cool about IHOP is the different syrups. Sorry, I keep hitting the table. Syrups, they have like the blueberry and the regular and like a strawberry syrup and that's so good because it's the International House of Pancakes. And Twinkies, you could skip it. Don't even bother with the Twinkies. Okay, Dairy Queen, Cheesecake Factory, In-N-Out and Driving on the Right Side of the Road. <laughs> okay, let's talk about this. Dairy Queen, overrated. There are so much better custard in ice cream I think it's cut. Is it just ice cream? I don't know. Dairy Queen. It's okay. There are certain the peanut buster. Is it the peanut buster parfait? Excuse me. I haven't lived there in a long time. So good. But like get a custard at Culver's. So I mean the strawberry shake at Culver's. Really anything. Anything at Culver's you will not be disappointed. Try the cheese curds. So good. Um, Cheesecake Factory. Go there every time I go home. Just so you know if you are a New Zealander or an Aussie. If you go to the Cheesecake Factory and there's four people in your family, you only need to order one meal. That's how big they are. Honest to God, you can take my word for it. I order for two people um, an appetizer and it's, I can't finish it. Like it's like that. So you get one meal for four people and then you order a couple of cheesecakes for dessert. You're welcome. Let's see, driving on the right side, yes. And driving in general, people are gonna drive fast compared to what they do here. They, in my opinion, New Zealanders drive slow and timid, and you cannot be that. If you are in Chicago, LA, you cannot be timid. <laughs> uh, s'mores and proper graham crackers. Yes, you're gonna wanna try this. And you're gonna wanna do it when you're camping. And you gotta have a proper camping fire because they don't have camping fires here many places in New Zealand. Yeah, just for fire danger, which makes sense. But like literally the fire at camping is the best part of it. And then having the s'more there as well. So you can get graham crackers here in New Zealand at the American stores. There are supplements that aren't quite the same. The digestive biscuits are quite similar, but the problem is the marshmallow. You will have to get the marshmallow and the Hershey's bar at an American store because the marshmallows have to be big and they're different. The way that you make your marshmallows here are different. I don't know what the difference is. I'm not a marshmallow maker, but they're different. So you're gonna wanna do that. And they're better here in New Zealand. It's just that you can't roast it. That's my opinion. Okay, we have another person says, Monterey Jack cheese. Yes. Thank you, Costco Auckland, because they can get, you can get a big block of Monterey Jack Jack cheese there and I got it last time I was there and you can, I should have got two. I can't describe to you the taste of this cheese but it melts. It's like perfect for like enchiladas, like a lot of your Mexican food, your tex None of your cheeses taste at all like it. You're gonna need to try that. Oh, okay, teen years in America. <laughs> I had a couple of these. Teen, if you don't know, like on TikTok, it's quite a big trend right now talking about what it was like being in high school, being a teenager in America. And so, yeah, you should check it out. It is quite different. Let me highlight some of the differences that I really kind of wish my teenagers would experience. Um, cultural things that they do in the US that they just don't do here, like the American football games. On Friday nights, you go home from school, you get ready for the American football game, you go there. If you if you have a boyfriend or whatever playing in it, you're wearing their jersey and then there's like a dance afterwards. It's a whole thing. It's a whole cultural thing. It's great. You got homecoming, you got pep rallies. You just, what you really notice when you come here, and maybe it's because I'm not in like the most popular sports in New Zealand, is that like whole schools will come out and watch basketball games, baseball games, track and field, American football, but like you just don't get many people in the stands here. It's not like this whole event. You don't have cheerleaders or pom-pom or, you know, mascots running around. It's not like a whole event. I really miss that. That's really, really great. High schools have lockers in the US. They have cafeterias. That was a big talk. Like there is just cafeterias. Like in New Zealand, it's like in a college, they'll have like a canteen or like a cafe within it, but they don't have like full blown cafe. Most people bring their own lunch. So cafeterias in the US, a very real thing. Food can be quite iffy, but hey, 
it's ha hot food cooked for you. I would take it all day long as a mother of four. Let's see, real Southern fried chicken and meeting a Native American Indian, yes, and understanding their culture, yes, yes, yes. Go check it out, go study it, go visit and meet and you'll be shocked at how horrible we have treated the American Indians. Uh, another high school in the US, oh, summer camp. Someone put summer camp, yes, if you have not gone to summer camp. So in the US, summer is three months. In, the, in New Zealand, it's six weeks and so, it's not uncommon for people to go to summer camp for four to six weeks at a time. And you're like away from your family and it's a really fun experience. I don't think I've ever gone that long. I think I've only gone to the week long ones, but I used to be a counselor at them. And so I would be there all summer and you'd have different students every week. And it was great, a great uh, summer experience at summer camp. That's a really good one. Grits, a lot of people said grits. It's like a very Southern, like, I don't know, I don't think they just eat it with breakfast, but it's like cream of wheat, but real gritty. You gotta try that. The Star Wars experience at Disney. Yes, you're gonna wanna try that. I've not seen the newest version of that. Uh, I have the old version. I've been to Disney when it was, you know, not all the upgraded stuff. And now they've taken down, like, I think the Harry Potter stuff and they're upgrading that. So you're gonna wanna go and see both of those when they're ready, because Disney is, you know, just a magical place. Biscuits and gravy, no one has explained them to me, is what this person has said. So clearly you don't watch a lot of my content because I've talked about this so many times. Okay. Let's review. Biscuits and gravy looks disgusting to a New Zealander. Trust me that you have to try it, you won't be disappointed. A biscuit is not the same as a scone, scone, whatever. It's not the same. It's like layers of flaky, buttery, Red biscuit. I don't know. It's a biscuit. It's so good. And they have them at KFC and they're so much better than whatever the heck you're serving here. Biscuits and gravy. You will try it. Someone said eggnog. How do they not sell these on the holiday here? You need to try eggnog. I have to make it myself because, you know, they don't have it. Pizza. New Zealand pizza is uh, not good. And I'm going to Italy next month. And so I'm expecting it to be amazing. <laughs> but the American pizza is so good. You guys have to try it when you get there and all the different kinds, just order a lot of pizza. You won't be disappointed. Okay, someone says literally nothing. I'd rather live in Canberra for the rest of my life. <laughs> well, there's that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I will leave you with this last comment. I went there five times. First when I was 16, last when I was 59. America can only sell you dreams from Disneyland to being the best country in the world. And there we have it, folks. They're not wrong. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next week.